Hi, I'm Kimmy. And I'm Nagin. We're Vaguely Qualified Productions. Vague. Vague. We're making a film uh, called Nerdcore Rising. It's about nerdcore hip hop. And we follow the godfather of nerdcore hip hop, MC Front a lot as he goes on his national tour. And along the way, we met tons of nerds and we wanted to bring them to you in the shape of Nerd of the Week. Our very first episode is about the Penny Arcade Expo. It's uh, hosted by the Penny Arcade guys, Gabe and Tycho. And they're hot. They're married with babies. But I, we still want to marry them <laughs> ourselves. And that's why we bring you Nerd, Nerd of, of the, the week. week. Penny Arcade style. Nerd of the Week. Nerd of the Week. Welcome to PAX. Beautiful. Sunny packs. We're hungry. We've been in line for pizza. four hours. If you're not here, there's something wrong with you. We thought, what if we just have our own convention and we do all the things that we like and that we know our fans Five, like in one four, place? Three, two, one. And that's PAX. PAX is a game show created by gamers for gamers. We see conventions like PAX, and there's billions of dollars in it. The entire convention hall is filled to the gills. 9,000 people pre-registered and you still had another five or 6,000 people standing in line to buy tickets. This is my vacation. We started Penny Arcade in 1998. We entered a contest for a video game magazine. They were looking for cartoonists. So we ended up doing, I think, four or five comic strips. And eventually they just said, please stop sending us comic strips. <laughs> Flash forward seven years later, we're kings. We rule over everything you see behind us. That would have been a lot more epic if there was like, yeah, a lot of stuff behind it. What is your favorite game? My favorite game is Legend of Zelda: a Link to the Past. It was the first video game to ever resonate emotionally with me. Super Smash Brothers Melee. Splinter Cell Double Agent. The X Men Six Player Arcade Game. Soul Calibur Three. Pirates of the Burning Sea. This kid is charged with such an epic quest, and he's watching these people who he loves die around him. So he goes and infiltrates this this terrorist organization. So you're sailing around in your ship. You have your choice of Cyclops, Wolverine, Colossus, Dazzler. You have Pokemon fighting. Uh, Mario, who's fighting Samus. You can be a pirate or a navy captain or an adventurer. It's a stealth action game. Where they get to just attack each other. Boom! You know, fire in the cannon. Hit each other, throw fireballs. Oh yeah! Yes! This is awesome! Work a nine to five job and you get home and, and you start going. Four hours a day, four or five hours a day. The hours logged in are immense. How many times do you or I get to say we got promoted at our job? You know, twice, three times? The idea of playing a character, telling a story with that character, advancing that character, you know, acquiring, you know, new abilities, new skills. These kinds of games really, you know, repeal to that visceral thing in a player. Music has been a part of it from the very beginning. Yeah, I mean, the, we've always talked about it in terms of it being like Woodstock for gamers. And so the front was here, the very first year. I think the highlight of the entire thing was just going to see MC Front Lodge. I think this is more scholarly. You have the the computer geek nerd who's, you know, the programmer type. That's the person who's taking his computer apart and putting it together and adding cool packs so he can run his super hot video cards. There are a million types of nerds. Uh, not, I don't want to say a meta nerd. Kids with trench coats on. The loud horse laugh, maybe. <laughs> Pasty kids with glasses, you know, lanky and tall. The movie nerds. Closet just stay in with their computer nerd. The really old crotchety fellas. My wife self-identifies as a spaz. I consider myself a creative person. I am an academic I'm kind of a nerd. Those guys, those are much nerdier people than me. I play Dungeons and Dragons. I read books. I'm a LARPer, I'll admit it. Maladjusti. Enthusiast. Geek. For all you. Geeks is like a, a smaller uh, part of nerd. Nerds are a uh, small portion of geeks. That's how people have always identified me throughout my entire life. Bro, I'm robot. a beautiful robot. 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 
The world has become a nerd world. When I come to conventions like the Penny Arcade Expo, it's like these are my people. Gabe and Tycho created a forum for everybody to share in their loves and stuff. This is the sort of environment that I want to create. It doesn't matter what you look like, it doesn't matter what you wear. It's who you are and what you embrace. PAX is a great like organization of our culture. It shows all our people that we're not alone. There's many people out there like us, and it's amazing. I, I can see the nerds here, and I know how hard it is for you. And I just have to tell you that we run shit on the outside. We run shit. And that's the, that's the fucking truth. Nerds rising up against everything that people think we are rising up against our stereotypes and being cool despite what we do, being cool because of what we do. The episode's technically over, but we did want to beg and plead for you to donate to our film, mm -hmm. Mo like money products. And check out the musicians who donated their music. Check it out on our website. And though this podcast uh, is now coming to a close, we hope that you come back. Come back. For Subscribe. More. Come back. And, and we'll bring you fantastic, hilarious, amazing, emotional uplifting podcast <laughs> every week possibly mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to keep up the of the week part maybe nerd but not of the week nerd of the week maybe <laughs> we're like nerd of the third Sunday of, <laughs> of March <laughs> it's just how it went okay bye bye <laughs>